What is up YouTube? It's your girl Rochelle and I'm back with another video. Thank you guys for tuning in, liking, sharing, and subscribe. You guys are the bomb.com. Now in today's video, I will be sharing with you guys a cash stuffing of my cash envelopes, my sinking funds, and my savings challenges. I am so excited to have some extra income from the month of April that has come in and I kind of like to keep my money uh, month to month. So I like to budget it, process it, use it, spend it, track it, all of that uh, month to month. And so since this happened in the month of April, but I am now getting my hands on this money, I thought I would go ahead and allocate it out separately. And so stick around if you want to see a bonus cash stuffing for the month of May. So today's video is going to be pretty quick and to the point. I am going to share the budget process and that it starts inside of my dated undated 18 month budget planner and so i am going to dive right into the budget so we are going to be working with a total of 750 dollars whoop, whoop. and so yes this is technically for week two of may 2022 but it is from the month of april and i just like to go ahead and process it let's do this thing let's spend some money so first up i sent 300 dollars to my business credit card to cover some spending and that is that the other thing that is kind of new for me is i hired and not even hired i set up an arrangement with an independent contractor and that has been gravy y'all I don't know I'm not a big wig I am not somebody who is making a ton of money but I know when to ask for help and I am so glad to be able to have a partnership with someone who understands my brand who who has passion for my brand who wants to see it you know scale up and be even bigger and that's what I needed at this point in time so I just decided that, you know what, I'm willing to take a pay cut and I'm willing to bring in someone some who has great resources. They have social media skills. They are just talented in every way, especially financial. And we already had a good relationship outside of business. And so it just made sense for me to ask <laughs> if they would come aboard and they did. And I'm so happy. So um, we are going to go ahead and allocate $75 from the budget for that. And then next up, we are going to stuff $375 of that money today. And that's pretty much the budget. That is pretty much how we are looking for this budget. So I've already done the breakdown also so that we know how much to give each category. And we are stuffing all the things, okay? All the things. So let me go ahead and get set up. What shall we start with, guys? Shall we start with our savings challenges? I think so. I think so. You know what? Let's get the cash first. That's the most important thing. I was missing my, my cute charms. So I put them on. I am loving this. These are from So Crafty Sana here on YouTube. Definitely check out her brand. It's just so cute. I added a couple to these that I had, you know, bought from different Etsy shops over the years. But that is that. Okay, so this is the money we are going to be stuffing. It actually came out to be a total of $380 because you know how to ATM be. You know. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, 320, 3, no, 310, 320, 330, 340, 350, 360, 370, 380. Oh, got it right on the first try, y'all. Okay, so let's dive right into these savings challenges. Of course, you can grab your savings challenge book from my website, RochelleAdamson.com. You know, I always got to throw that spiel in just in case. And also, I have my cash breakdown here that told me that is what I was looking at to make sure that this count was correct. So boom, it matches, it matches, it matches. Okay. First up is save I believe. So last time we rolled, I rolled a one. So we this is a very expensive savings challenge week. And so we are going to be stuffing Saveopoly with $25. For a total of $20, $25, and $30. That is definitely like a high week for us. Saveopoly, Saveopoly had time this month. Okay, so now we need to roll to see what we get next time. <laughs> I rolled the one again, y'all. Okay, so we were here on this railroad company. So we are going to next time stuff $7. So let me go ahead and grab my markers, my highlighters. 
that I got from Beautifully Me and You's YouTube channel. Her, I used her Amazon links. She's the bomb.com. Let's use the bright pink. So we landed right here, y'all. So funny enough, I have not landed on any property twice. So far, it's been like just one every time. We ignoring the airplanes, helicopters, military maneuvers. We ignoring all of them. Okay. They going to do them and we going to do us. Okay. So yes, love how bright they are and they don't smear. I love that. So we are going to be saving $7 next time. So I have a note. Okay, next up is the zero out challenge. For this week, we are contributing $1.81. So $1.81, I don't even know why. Why did I not pull these out? Okay, so that is good. Last week, you know, we've been kind of hitting it kind of hard. Zero out challenge has been kind of beefy lately. But things are starting to slow down, which is cool. You know, it's that time of year where it just feels spendy, car insurance is due, all that stuff. Because we try to pay that like semi-annually every six months or whatever. So anyway, $1.81 this week, $8.81 last week. That is our zero out challenge update. Let me know how it's going for you guys. Yeah, so zero out challenge. Boom. And I, I use my mini tracker just to track my month by month progress. And then I use this tracker to track the weekly progress. So next up is debits day off. So for debits day off, I pull from my wallet. This is my version of a no spend challenge. I've been getting a lot of questions about this. So this is my row envelope. So I don't really track how much I have, but I have 10, 15, $20. I haven't spent any money. So I'm just going to pull out five. And this just is mindful spending that I'm doing because I really, I know that I could be blowing that money, but I'm trying to just, just rein it in y'all. I'm just trying to rein it in. So we are going to add $5 to the debit stay off and we now have 100, 120, 130, 135, 140, 141 dollars. So that is exciting. 141. And that is our first time contributing this month. January, February, March, April. We'll use this is May. So I will put $5. And purple is just going to be our color for today. I just like the shade in. Maybe we'll just do half, you know. Just to let them know we, we dipping our feet in. We're starting the save process. So, debit stay off $5 for the month of May. I will take it. And then, like, same thing. I track the overall monthly progress, month by month. Next is, are we contributing to the 50 envelope today? No, we are not contributing to 50 next time though. I'm really, I'm trying to choose. It's either going to be the 50 envelope challenge or the 26 week challenge or the nickel challenge. I'm, I'm choosing one or one of these, either the 50 envelope or the 26 week because I want to ramp it up. I want to, I want to finish one of these. <laughs> It's feeling slow. Um, so anyway, next up is, I don't think we're contributing to the 26 week either. No, 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 we're not. We're not. Uh, keep the change. Let's see. I think we can keep the change. Oh, no, 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 no coins, y'all. No coins. No coins. Okay. That's cool. You know, <laughs> that's cool. No hard feelings. Next is... The nickel challenge. Okay, this one we are definitely contributing to. So for the nickel challenge, we are going to contribute $10. And so now we have a total of 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 510. See, it could be the nickel challenge too. I really just want to choose one of these three challenges and like hit it really hard. Okay, so... $10 for the nickel challenge. Which one should it be, guys? Which one should I focus on? I need to feel that sense of accomplishment, you know? 
Okay, so next up is the emergency fund challenge. Now, this is a challenge that I, oh, let me update my other tracker on here. This is a challenge that I normally only update electronically because the money is usually in my bank account. But since I have this extra money coming in, it just, it just doesn't feel right if I don't add something to the mix. So for the emergency fund challenge, we are going to contribute $10 in my Taylor voice ten dollars okay and so what we're going to do is oh this is supposed to be in front anyway we're just going to start adding it here whenever I have you know extra money but yeah I thought about it like yeah I want to contribute I want to keep passively contributing to this thing so 1,000, 2,000, 100, 200, 300 and 10 dollars is what we have roundabout it's actually a little more because that doesn't include the zero out challenge money that i contribute to let me see if i can pull that real quick so i can tell you the real amount it's it's like a little bit over 2300 it is 2309 and change so you know you know we'll take it we'll take it but i need to fill in one did i fill in one <laughs> i had to look at the video <laughs> the bitch okay so ten dollars this is cool every little bit helps we are in a saving season guys okay so next up is our monthly challenge so let's come on over to the month of may and for the month of may we are going to be contributing five dollars for a total of $11. So let's see, what can we do to equal $5? I think I'll do the three and the two. Okay, I think it came out cute. You know, so it's all about self-care this month. So that's what this savings challenge is focused on. So self-care and all its various forms, what that means to you. I'm trying to eat better. I'm trying to drink my water. I'm over here sipping on some freshly squeezed watermelon juice right now that hubby squeezed for us yesterday. Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying, y'all. It's the small changes. Getting proper rest, budgeting. You know, <laughs> that's what we're doing. That's what we're all about for the month of May. Okay, so that is our, I think that's it. I always have to look like I didn't create this whole book. Okay, yes, that is it for our savings challenges that is inside of my book. So, oh, almost broke my charms. Okay, so yeah, $11. So this is a low month. You know, that's the other thing about savings challenges. I feel like there needs to be some months where it feels a little challenging. And then there needs to be some months where, you know, it kind of gives you a little break. So this month we're only saving $60. You know, every month is different. Now let's move on to Eva's investing. We are going to contribute $5 to this money. She now has a total of 50, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So that will be, I think, I think I'm going to just start doing this Hmm, how should I do this? Should I contribute this monthly every time I save up some money for her? I have to figure that out because I do want to start contributing to it, you know, because the whole point of investing is time. So I don't want to have investing money just sitting and never invest it. So I'll figure that out. But next up is Rose Investing. Okay, so these are the investing challenges I'm doing from Shalice, Mommy Trader here on YouTube. And so I am doing, let me go to my favorites. I'm doing the Utma one. And really, I think I chose the wrong one. I think I was supposed to do the 529. <laughs> I just realized that. It's okay, we're moving forward. We're moving forward. So I have saved enough to shade in seven coins. So we are saving, the goal is to save about $13 or $14 per pig. And so we're, we're coming along. I cannot erase this because this was my previous goal was to shade in six of them. But now we can shade in a whole seven. So that is that investing challenge. And then the other investing, so that's the one for Eva. And then this is the one that I'm doing. So we 
are going to invest today $5, is it? Let me see. Yep, Rose Investing is getting $5. So that is enough for us to, whoops, let's go ahead and highlight. Should I do yellow? We'll see. We can highlight five of them. Okay, so that is our progress for May. Let me go ahead and add that. Then next up is, okay, next up is the Boss Up Savings Challenge by Money with Gab. Okay, so I kept losing the paper and so <laughs> I just added it to my digital. This is why I love digital because I'm so unprofessional and I just keep losing stuff. But anyway, Boss Up Secure the Bag Savings Challenge. My goal is to save $5 per bag so that I can save $100. And this is a savings challenge that I plan on doing over and over. So, so far I've added the five, I think. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, $40. And we'll find out at the end of this video if I added the five or not. But if I have $40 and they're $5 each, that means I can shade in eight of these. So that's nice. Okay, so that is the Boss Up Secure the Bag Savings Challenge. I'm sure we'll be returning to it at the end of the video if I did not add the $5 in. And then I have my $500 savings challenge that I'm doing um, from Brick, playing your one life here on YouTube. And so we are going to add $10 to hers. Whoa. $10 to hers. So let's see how much we have saved. My goal is to save $600 total between these two challenges. So 10, 15, 20, 21, 22 dollars is how much we have for that savings challenge. And I need this money sooner than later. So I need to focus on these savings challenges next. So we added $10. Is there a 10 on the board? Yes. So we'll keep contributing to those. Savings challenges complete. Okay, next up we are going to contribute to just a couple of our business funds. So this is my business set of cash envelopes. First thing we are going to do is, hopefully I'm still in frame, totally winging this. We're going to contribute to taxes. So now that I've done my taxes for the first time, um, I'm realizing that I don't need to save a certain percentage as long as I can show proof that I am allocating a certain amount and I'm spending a certain amount on whatever. So you have to see what works for you. But for me, out of this money, we are going to contribute $50. The way I spend and set up this business, the money goes in and comes out. Like it's it's not like I'm saving a whole lot. But I have a total for taxes so far of 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 600, 650, 700, 720, 740, 760, 770, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 774. And we contributed 50. Then the other one that I want to contribute to is our P.O. box. Where are you? Oh, okay. It was the last one. Wow. So we are going to contribute $40 to that for a total of 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88 dollars. So we contributed 40. Okay. I leave it open to let it dry sometimes if it doesn't have a barrier between that and the wallet. And next we are going to contribute to our sinking funds. Putting a little bit across the board, y'all. Everybody getting some love today. 
So first up, I want to contribute some money to Eva. And she's going to get a whole $5. We are starting from scratch. We have just spent a whole slew of money on her clothes and shoes and all that. So she has $110.15. And yes, some of this is prop money because I do keep some money electronic. So we are adding five for 115. Then the other one I want to contribute to is Mike. Here we go. We are going to give Mike $5 also. Same idea. So he has 20, 30, 35, 40, $45 now. And when I tell y'all add into these, I call it the trickle effect. It really adds up. $45. Then I want to contribute to taxes. This is for his personal W-2 taxes. He's going to get $5 to that as well for a total of $100, and $110. And then I want to contribute to Tesla. We are going to contribute $20 for a total of $1,000, $2,000, no, $1,000, Almost time to spend that $2,000, y'all. We're not going to think about it. Plus $20. Oh, and I also have the insurance money in here for car insurance. So $2,040 plus 2140 2160 uh what is that 2210 we'll see in a minute we'll see so 20 yep 2210 okay and then the other one i want to contribute to that i forgot about is beauty beauty is going to get 20 dollars for a total of 100 120 140 150 so I have enough to go get my hair did now. So plus 20 is 150. Alrighty, and that is it for those sinking funds. And then I want to contribute to our travel sinking funds. So we are traveling next month for business. And so I want to contribute to some of these. So eating out is going to get $20 for a total of 50, 100, 120, 140, 160. Next is travel miscellaneous, which we will add $20 to. Then I want to contribute to gas. Here we go. So gas, this is essentially, if I rent a car, this will be the gas money for it. If I choose to Uber, Lyft, whatever, taxi cab, it would come from this also. So $40 for today for a total of 50, 100, 120, 140. So that is adding up nicely because I think we will have, um, I don't know, I can't tell how much we'll spend on Uber, but this is a good start. And then vacation, which helps to cover the cost of flights and hotels and resorts and Airbnb and all that good stuff is going to get $60 for a total of 100, 200, 250, 300, 320, 340, 360. So that's good. And then my location based envelopes, Texas, Mexico travel, Baltimore, and the missing Hawaii one from when we island hop. I don't know what I did with that, but it's going to get, Texas is going to get $20 for a total of $40. So I like to use location based envelopes so that I can plan for multiple trips at the same time. And y'all, there go that $5. <laughs> see? You see? Savings challenges. This one. You, baby. Come here. It was Gab's challenge, y'all. Yep. The boss up one is going to get $5. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So I get to shade in another shopping bag. 
And that is why I love smaller savings challenges. I need to feel like I'm making progress, you know? I need to feel like I'm getting somewhere. So let's shade it in together. You know, this is our progress. Oops, boss up savings challenge. It's already there, set up for us. You know, I can't color. All I do is try, but we're almost halfway through this saving challenge. Love, love, love it. Okay, well, that is it for today's video, guys. I will see you in the next one. Until then, peace, love, and budgets.